guys welcome back that was a full full hand clap right there guys welcome back to another mistlix reacts channel right there and then guys if you're not done so guys definitely subscribe and turn up post notifications so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through <sighs> a little arizona for the stomach sake man Woo! who's that <laughs> but guys welcome back and of course round of applause round of applause goes out to each and every one of you guys who tuned in to get another mistlix reaction video right there and then guys as you can pretty much tell on the screen there's some sort of light in the darkness. <laughs> this is actually a fire, I believe, that took place in the Kolyo region. The mountains of the Kolyo region right there, guys. And um, this is a photo I've seen. That's a photo right there I've seen. And this is a video of it right there. Of the fire in the Kolyo region. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty hot. I, I, well, I, I don't know if it's hot, but I know fire hot, brothers and sisters. So I can only see what I can see, <laughs> what my experience is. Uh, uh, the fire is hot. I'm not exactly sure what caused this fire to happen, especially when it comes down to... I think it's been... It, it, this time it's very cold uh, right now in Dominica, where the cool breeze is coming down from the north into the tropics, uh, a tropical environment here in the Caribbean. So I'm not sure what, what exactly caused it. Maybe somebody put the fire on the thing and it... It went out of, con out of control, but yes, guys, this is the latest vibrations out of Call You right there. Now, guys, I want I want to get into something actually that was sent to me. I'm not sure if I will play the whole thing. I think it was sent by Paul Barron. So, guys, this is it right there. I had to get this done. Apparently, I heard that. Well, this is a forward I I, I was told from Paul Barron. That is the name that I got. Um, I think that person is the president, the Dominican youth president. Uh, right there and I think he's gonna be talking about his 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 experiences uh, or his views on what he thinks of Dominica in this present 2021 right there and then that's from my understanding but I haven't seen heard the full clip so let's get into it right there good afternoon it has been for some time now I've not had the opportunity to say anything publicly hmm. and I think for most that may have appeared to be unusual for you, far more for us as individuals. Over the last couple weeks, my family, and by that I mean my immediate family, wife and child, have had some very unfortunate and very persistent uh, attacks being placed upon us as hmm. individuals. Interesting. As you are aware, we, by whom? That's what I want to know. By whom? We recently moved to a community in the north of the island, which is, is in that case, Portsmouth. <laughs> boy, boy, Portsmouth only. <laughs> boy, I tell you. In search of a new life. Wee! Wee! Don't tell me it's opportunity, Gansi, next. Search of new opportunities. Oh! In search of new... Boy, bro. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Oh, boy. Hmm. Well, you never know, eh? You, you never know. What jobs you have like that in Posse, no boy? What what opportunities have like that in Posse? Well, I think they say um um Claire Harbour coming down, so maybe maybe that is maybe that is is the opportunity, but we'll have to see. New friends in search of new uh, an atmosphere. To feel belong as a family. So it seems like where you were you were not feeling feeling that that sense of belonging. That is part of Maslow's hierarchy of needs sense of belonging interesting so when you're not getting that you move i guess that makes sense it is no surprise that as any young person or any individual for that matter seeking to make modest strides within the commonwealth of dominica hmm. and however far persons seek to want to go that evil is always very close to follow that's true I say this without reservation. I say this without fear or without any favor. We have been sort of like systematically, systematically been involved in what I can now say is a very carefully plotted and strategized attempt to attack my family. Hmm. During the early parts of this experience, I neither knew the reasons why or whether we or what made us so much unique more than any Dominican couple. We have a daughter. Her name is Adera. Adera is female 
for Adir. Adir meaning God and Adera goddess. That's a good name. Anyways, let's My continue. Name, I recall. Okay. I've always had a great affinity for the Bible. I've always had a great affinity for Christ. And because of that, I pray consistently every single day, calling on his name. Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. Yeshua. God be the glory. Every single day. That's good. I recall when I drew closer to Christ in 2012, I was neither prepared nor was I able to understand his power. <laughs> At that time, I consumed marijuana and alcohol and lived a very frivolous and carefree life. I tell My you. body could not have sustained his power. I succumbed to it. As a result, I was chained and brought to Rosu in the APU unit and spent many days there on the assumption that something was wrong with me. Ah, so maybe maybe he was considered insane or something like that? I don't know. Hmm. I came out of that experience and I began practicing the skills that I've, I've learned firstly as a farmer and secondly as a student and teacher. And as you are aware, I consistently apply all my skill sets within the Dominican economy. What happens in all cases is I succeed without any sort of limitation. Hence the reason why I became the president of the Youth Council and also the chairman of the Atkinson Village Council. And everything that I do, I succeed in. I'm a young man. I have a family. I don't care too much about materialism. Neither do I care about vanity. That's, that's a good thing to not care about. That, that's true. As long as you're able to provide for your family, I think that is always a good thing. Provide the, the basic needs, I think that is always a good thing. I knew, and I've always knew. No. But that still shouldn't mean that you, should, you shouldn't strive for more. You know what I mean? For 2022, don't just be like, yes, I, that's, that's it. You know, life is about elevation and progress. And sometimes, you know, you know do anything a bit better, not just for yourself. But elevating to also help others in this regard as well. That I have a passion for leadership. Hence the reason why I've spent so much time in politics and community affairs. And the individuals, therefore, whom I help are ultimately succeeding without mm. they even recognizing essentially who and what was a result of their success. But they should know who helped them succeed. I mean, that, that should be part of part of it sometimes you help people on the basis of helping them but if everybody i i think there, there should be some sort of you know acknowledgement in hey that person actually helped me out you know what i mean just a little gratitude you know what i mean I, I, so if the if you if um individuals were helped by this guy a little gratitude a gratitude might go a little long come on <coughs> all right 2022 be grat be grateful man show like a little gratitude when i arrived at post -Mov I was ushered and brought to a home, I suppose, through mutual understanding. Wait, you were ushered and brought in? What? So who that brought you in to Portsmouth? Somebody take you and bring you them man or something. Anyways. Understand it. The apartment in which I live bears 12 rooms, indicating that they are the 12 tribes of Israel. <laughs> okay, that is... All right, then. After a period of time, my wife and myself... Being struck by, I would imagine, poverty and not being able to land a contract hmm. in a country that is predominated by the Dominican Labour Party, of which I left. I had no food, no money, no car, no opportunity. Hmm. I thought they say all shall eat, eh? I mean, all shall eat. Come on, man. In all cases, what do I do when I'm destitute and poor? I go to Christ. I began to pray. I encourage my wife to pray. And I tell her every single day, God, make me pray. Rastafari. Pray Christ Jesus. Pray. Christ. I, I, well, I don't know about the Rastafari part. I think I actually touched on that yesterday or the day before about the Rastafari thing. <laughs> but um, like I said before in two vlogs, not two vlogs, two reactions ago, I said it sometimes when you feel like things don't work out. Yes, pray. Ask God for guidance. Ask God for help. But it's also our responsibility to understand how things work in the economy. Not just pray and hope that God send food and manna from heaven and think you never know miracles do happen. No doubt about it. 
But I'm saying, if you really want to elevate beyond just looking at what you have at present, which you might say is poverty, praying and asking God, Lord, take me out of the poverty without, without any sort of action on your part, will keep you there, most likely keep you there. This is why it's always, un, it's always inevitable to understand that there are two types of equation. There's a success equation where you understand how things work. And there's a revelation equation. Hey, I preach it to you. <laughs> there's a revelation equation which deals with praying and asking God to open doors and open opportunities for you. But sometimes for you to see these opportunities, you must make a move out. Can kind of reminds you of what took place in the Bible. When God wanted, when the people were complaining and so forth, they're complaining in the desert. The Israelites were complaining in the desert, saying they don't have water, they don't have things, they don't have what not, what not. And God will tell Moses to perform an action before he gets the stuff. God will tell him to speak to the rock before the water comes forth. Although he struck it, but that was still action right there. Any and everything that is required of something great or something of substance, God always requires action for it. So it's not just saying you sit down there and pray and whatnot. No. Sometimes you, you're right. You said that you'd be in, you, you, you put your farming abilities into action. Yes. You put your farming abilities into action. You grow your crops. And then you wonder where to sell things. You move around, ask different people and so forth. There's always ways and means to make money, you know. There's always ways and means. It might be harder than some other things that you might be able to do. But at the end of the day, it's still you require an action on your part. Let's continue. Creation. What happened in that case? We began to perceive and see the world around us for exactly what it is. We become light and as a result, darkness ensued and encompassed us as individuals. Hmm. The dwelling in which we lived is filthy, dirty, a haven for the devil. Hey, Papa, well, the on, house Dad. in which we live is filled with women every day, each day having sex, gambling Ooh, and the like. In a, in a, in a prostitution ring you in, man. What? Around them, let me, let me leave that day. A haven for the mm. devil. What would two pure souls experience in such a way? Evil looked, evil persisted, pushed us to the edge. Pushed us to the edge. When I began praying, I pray loud. I pray loud, loud to the extent that you can be heard, or rather, I can be heard at the mountaintops. My voice is very loud. The landlords, out of fear, I imagine, <laughs> thought it necessary to uh, cause Evic us to leave the apartment. Evic yeah. Call the police. I mean, sometimes, do everything, according to the Bible, do everything in, in moderation. I mean, Magui said, you live in, not by yourself, in Zodone Mountain, you live in. If you, you pray loud in the place every time like that, I mean, people will think you're crazy. <laughs> Come on. But anyways, I digress. In the attempt to restrain me, how it is that a young man can be calling on the name of God and you want to restrain him? In a if, sense, in a sense, sure. I understand, but if you, if you always constantly do it, because I've seen mad people before. I've seen mad people before, and mad people just want to be shouting out all kind of things. So if you're emulating the same thing, but you're calling God, it cannot be perceived. It's not necessarily of what you're saying, but of your actions in doing it can pretty much make people wonder what on earth is going on right there, especially if you're doing that every day. Always coming and shouting loud. You say you, you can be heard from the mountain tops. Papa. Well, that is loud, we? That is loud, eh? But hey. It is also very fitting for me now to know that the only the landlord and this one overseer young man were the only persons affected. Hmm. Well, None is... of my neighbors came to me. Not... Well, maybe they were scared of you. Who knows? But maybe they weren't affected. Maybe they weren't affected. So... Who knows? But say lovey. None of the fellow roommates came to me and said, Mr. Baron, what was wrong? It appears, my friend, that only the landlord and the overseer was the ones who were most affected. Why? The house in which we live is a house of worship for the devil. There's well, that is something else. There's no two ways about it. It has caused us some serious pain. Well, I My mean, wife, I... if you think that that is what is happening there, bro, I think you should be happy that, that they took you out of there. Unless you wanted to continue living there in the, house, in the devil's house. That, <laughs> that would not be good at all. I fear would have left. Why? Because I just so close to Christ, I, I literally removed every single thing 
every single thing from my heart just so that he can consume me. Hmm. I was born on the 9th of December, 1985. Coincidentally, that is the same month in which Christ was born. The 25th of December. Well, that's not the exact date he was born. It's just a day that people, you know, put aside to remember Christ's birth. So just to put that out there. All right, all right. I am not Christ, but I can assure you, I am Christ-like. My name is Alexander Iskander, Papa. and I am the defender of mankind. My name is Alexander Baron. I am the protector of man. There's no mistake. There's I think that's what God sent the watchers for here. God sent the watchers to protect mankind. And you're a man, so I guess God sent the watchers to protect you too. But, I mean, on the basis, well, I mean, everybody have their, their feelings towards certain things. So There's no confusion. I have no pain in my heart. I have no fear of, 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 of losing. And I can assure you, there are a number of people that cause us great pain. Hmm. My wife, more so than me. And my daughter, more so than me. Hmm. Well, you need to protect your daughter if your daughter has more pain than you. I mean, come on, bro. I can assure you that this world, Dominica and beyond its borders, is filled with evil. Well, that, that, that's possible. It is a good time to be present in the 2021 when Christ, I'm almost sure, is concerned about judging this world sooner than later. That's, that's And don't true. look for no cherubim in the we both oh, no, no, okay, all right. The cost word reach. Okay, all right. Cost. We have to take out the cost word. Don't look for no mysticism. Christ would only search for someone whose heart and soul was weary, just as mine was. No opportunity. No. Well, I think Christ searching for everybody. Ever yeah, Christ search for everybody. He said, "Come all, all he who are weary and are heavy laden, or heavy burden." Whichever one, brothers and sisters, and he will give you rest. So I uh, think he came for all, okay? So, yes, great. No job, no money, almost no love. Hmm. You, have, you have to turn into farming, yeah, bro. You have to realize not only you alone. I mean, you were part of the very system that was depleting society. You stated yourself, you left them after a while, but you were part of them. And they helped deplete and put you in the state that you are in when it comes down to an economical standing. So, you are also part to take in that blame that has put you where you are today. Almost no love. I can assure you today, Boxing Day, one day after Christ, that he dwells in me. No, that's good. He dwells in me. That is the only reason I survived this attack in Portsmouth. Hmm. My postman is a postman, but I, that's why I was wondering why you compost one of the best places. Ross not there again, we church not there again. There's a lot of businesses that are closed down when it comes down to elevating your standards as a young person to survive in postman doing work outside the input. Boy, you mad. Hey, don't you can survive in postman? You can survive anywhere, anywhere in this world. Well, I wouldn't go by far by saying anywhere in the world, but most places you can survive, brothers and sisters, because it's a leader struggle. And you see, in Portsmouth, people struggling, but they wouldn't say nothing. They're quiet. Shh, don't say much. We'll get a little something during election time or something like that. We'll get a little. You know what I mean? Portsmouth, I was told by a religious leader, is the community having the most sorcery, most witchcraft, homongers, and all sorts of stupid things. Well, I don't think so. I don't think so. There are other communities that I know are, are, are practicing strange things, especially when students used to go up certain places and they come back. Oh, they was, you swear they possess. But that is another topic, man. But of course, there are, there are evil going on in post. I remember back in the day where, where um, my, my, my elders used to tell me the different things that used to take place in Portsmouth, where you used to see lights on mountain and all kind of strange noises and all kind of things used to take place. Passing by cemetery and all. So I know Postmore has a, 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 a history in that kind of feel right there. But as soon as, you know, when, 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 the, when, the, when the gospel or, or, or Christianity came in, where that was driving stuff, this kind of things away, um, it kind of depleted. But of course, there's still some sort of practice in this regard. I've even heard that the very leader of society is involved in the occult. I've heard these kind of things. And where is he from? I wouldn't say much. <laughs> I can assure you, my friends, 
I have become extremely strong, and my wife and my child bears the gift for my sacrifice. For my sacrifice. My assistant often tell me, but Paul, how is it you always say that you are the sacrificial lamb? Well, I am. Well, I think Jesus was the sacrificial lamb, bro. But I, I cannot understand the sentiment that you are putting forth. I have a few people to commit to the Lord today, Boxing Day. I have a few people to commit to the Lord. And I ask the angel of death to visit you. Wee. I don't think that is Christ like a tall nafara. What? Visit you. You have one option. You call upon Christ, <laughs> the Savior, or you never close your eye. The moment you close your eye, your soul, my friend, will be lost forever. <laughs> Papa. Father, you have to be careful. Papa. But be careful. Remember the gallows? And the people that set up the gallows, they are the ones who end up facing the gallows. Be mindful what you call in on people, especially using God's name in your thing, Father. Go easy. Petual darkness. And because of and I don't I don't think he's, he's stable. No, pal. What he just said, I don't think he's, and he is you president. That I don't think he's is he still you president? Anyways, let me continue. Because of that, I have a few people to commit to Christ today. Firstly, Roosevelt's scary. Wee, wee, <laughs> but we do not wish death on Roosevelt's scary, brother. We wish that he comes out of there, but don't wish death. I mean, he can be doing his wickedness and those kind of things there, but don't wish death on him. I mean, we, we have to draw the line somewhere. The man and his, has his family. And of course, judgment is the Lord's. So we leave that for a lot to do. We pray for him to come out there. He might take prison and so forth, but that is another situation, right? There. Because me and my wife, additionally, I'm aware of all your crimes. Hmm. Emmanuel Nantan we. Was persistently seeking. We only go for Nantan. <laughs> they go for Nantan. To withhold me from opportunity <laughs> in seeking to get a job within the financial services industry through insurances. So you probably apply to Nantan's company and he's like, mm -mm. I know you vex. Well, Anastasia did for Wee. offering some help to her family and further persecuting them. Wait, she helped the family and then persecuted. Herman Chaplis. Wee! Wee! Hey, don't call my partner. <laughs> Wee! Crime of homosexuality. Wee! Oh, I don't think. Mm -mm. And as I've talked with, with, with Herman Chaplin, I don't think he involved in them kind of thing. They are tall. Are tall, are tall, are tall, are tall, are tall. Come on, man. And for your crime of fiddling with boys. Wee! Me, me. Why did my partner that the boy? Being a victim as well. Elrado Ducre for your lies Lord. and deceit. Lorenzo so Sanford for your lies and deceit. Linda Singular Singletary. Oh, I hope Mr. <laughs> Boy. George for your lies and deceit. I don't know who is those people there, no? Wait, do you see a name there? Let me. Anastasi Didier for offering some help to her family and further persecuting them. <laughs> Herman Chaplis for your crime of homosexuality <laughs> and for your crime of fiddling with boys. <laughs> Me being a victim as well. What? Ay ay ay! Wait a while. I like, can't. I don't. Be, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that. Eh? I don't believe in that boy. Mm -mm. But but who knows, boy? But I don't believe in that boy. No boy. Elrado Ducre for your lies and deceit. <laughs> Lorenzo Sanford for your lies and deceit. Linda Singular Singletary George for your lies and deceit. <laughs> but, look, but look deceit. Frederick for your lies and blasphemy and deceit. Ha, ha, man. <laughs> there are many of you out there. <laughs> Boy, that is name dropping Don't me. Don't try to counterattack. I'm aware of all of your counterattacks. <laughs> Don't try to find me. I cannot be found. <laughs> I have been tried, tested, and judged. Not by you. By a heavenly order. Well, man does judge too, a partner. Man does judge too. 
I've spent some time on my farm in preparation. But you can well imagine where I find myself. Again, wait for me. And when you look upon my faces, don't look upon it at all. Hmm. Bow before me. Well, that, that, that's making yourself an idol, eh, my partner. You shouldn't. You, you, you cannot make yourself an idol, my partner. You cannot make yourself an idol. Come on, bro. Come on, man. And you won't have a choice because your spirit will long be conquered. Hmm. I've waited my entire life. In fact, I've waited 10 years. I do think that's your entire life. 10 no, years to have that conversation with you. Hmm. Search for the answers that lies within. Christ does not dwell in the mysticism of the church, nor does he dwell in no, no brick and mortar. Well, in a sense... Yes, but remember the ark? When God told man not to go and open the ark, not to watch in it and whatnot, because he's, dwell, he's, dwell, he, he's dwelling in there, you know, something like of, of that substance. So, you never know. He searches the heart, and if the heart is worthy, he dwells among it. Well, the heart isn't usually worthy. The only worthiness is because of Yeshua himself. So the heart is not worthy. If the heart realizes that it is, it is not worthy, <laughs> And therefore, Yeshua accepts that it needs a savior. That's what the heart, pretty much. You know what I mean? The crimes brought on to myself, my wife, and my daughter will be tried in the heavenly order. And you shall all fall perpetually. <laughs> May God always find the perpetual light fall. Yes, I. And I'm Catholic church already. In favor in me as an individual willing to sacrifice everything so that he can dwell in my heart well guys that was that was rather eventful i must say myself um what are your thoughts man what are your thoughts like, is he still the youth the youth president of dominica what is going on right there he's talking about december 26th so this is recent we are in december 30th so this is definitely recent brothers and sisters what is going on what on earth is going on here in this regard, right there. But here they call my partner name, boy. And if that is the what? Ah, uh, you sometimes, hey, I don't say it's true or not, eh? But sometimes you never know people, boy, you mad. I know prisoners getting, prisoners be involved in all kind of things, but I didn't, I don't, ah, what? Not, mm -mm. no, sir. No, sir. I just have different talks with him, man. <laughs> I trouble him sometimes. <laughs> Let me leave that alone. That is not for you to hear. That's why I'm not, that can't be that not possible. But anyways, um, with all that said, guys, let me know your thoughts, man. This is this is rather strange. Some strange allegations and stuff made on different individuals. Um, but we do not wish death on nobody. I mean, if there's injustice that take place, may justice prevail. You know, may justice prevail in the actions of whatever actions, no actions of both parties. Right there. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts, man. This was rather interesting for me right there. No doubt about it. Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comment box. We'll give this video a thumbs up. And, of course, definitely subscribe and turn on our post notifications so you can get all the videos as it tends to come from. See you guys in the next reaction video.